so in this video, I'm going to show you how to recreate probably the most famous sequence. I don't know, maybe it's the most famous sequence uh, that I can think of. It's the sequence from Pink Floyd's On the Run. And we're going to do this with the SY-1000. I'm going to start off with factory patch P3-4, uh, sequence for shuffle, because uh, it's, it's already got a sequence in it. So I'm going to turn off instrument 3 and instrument 2, leaving us with instrument 1, which is a dynamic synth. Now, when we're using sequences on the SY-1000, we're going to be working with the dynamic synth. And just kind of thinking down the road, I'm going to turn off all the strings. Or I'm going to turn down the volume for all the strings except for the low E string. So that's that's what we have right now. We're going to turn this into the sequence uh, for, uh, for uh, On the Run. If you look over here under uh, Alternate Tuning, I notice that, that that E string's down an octave. Let's go ahead and bring that up to regular pitch. Okay, good. Uh, we got that. Now let's go straight into the sequence because probably this is, um, you know, maybe maybe the trickiest part of it uh, is is getting that initial uh, sequence together uh, that we need to to build the uh, to build the patch. Now it's an eight note sequence, and uh, the sequence is it starts on E, it goes E G A G. And then it goes D, C, D, E. So it's kind of like two, two groups of four. And it's only, uh, right now, we're only going to be using the sequence to modulate the, um, the pitch. So if I go over here under Instrument 1 and I'm on the Sequence tab, I need to turn on Pitch Target for Sequence 1. So Sequence 1 is going to be controlling um, the pitch. I'm going to disable the filter cutoff and the level cutoff. So we're just going to be working with the pitch. Now the tempo, we'll probably have to adjust that on down the road, but let's look at our parameters for sequence one. Uh, so to start off with, the loop length needs to be eight steps. Right now it's only six steps. We need, because it's like a shuffle pattern, um, we need it to be eight steps. And now let's look at the pitch intervals that we have. Uh, I'm going to clear out these curves because we don't want to be sliding between these pitches. We want to nail each, it's just a, a straight step from one pitch to the next. So let's get rid of these transition curves. And now we need to put in the particular values. So I'm going to start off with the note that I play. So there, there's, there's no pitch change. I'm going to play an E on the guitar and it's an E that we have as the first note of the sequence. The next note of the sequence is a G, which is going to be three semitones up. The next sequence is an A, which is going to be five semitones up, and then we go back down to that G. So that's that first four note pattern, E, G, A, G. Then we go to the next four note pattern, which is going to be a D, 10 semitones up. And then we drop down one half step to the C, then we go back to the D, and then we end on the E. So that's our pattern right there. So let's listen to what does that pattern sound like. Um, it has a, a little bit of a feel, but definitely not quite right. Well, to start off with, um, the original, the sequence that we're starting off, that we're building from, is built around this eighth note triplet, but we just want straight eighths. So I'm going to double click on this, and then using uh, these um, minus one and plus one, I'm going to change that to an eighth note. We just want an eighth note. Now let's hear what that sounds like. So believe it or not, th that's, that's the sequence. But, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to hear for one thing. Every time I play the note, the note starts to decay and it, and it goes away. So it's going to make it hard to continue to work through this patch. So let me go over here to my controllers and let's take control one, which is currently not assigned to anything. And we're going to assign that to instrument hold so that I can hit control one on the SY-1000 and then have it just hold that note for me. So this is instrument one hold. So control one is instrument one hold. And now I'm going to play the E, and after I play that E, I'm going to hit Control-1 on the SY-1000. Okay, so that's our pattern, but it's, it's not nearly as fast as we need it to be, so let's crank up the beats per minute. Hold it, there's one more thing. I need to double this tempo. Let's, let's turn on the turbo feature. It's not a feature I use a lot, but the beats per minute is only going to take me up to, I think it's uh, 200 and something. That's 170 now. You see that we're not even close there. Okay, so let's turn on turbo. 
There we go. Maybe, maybe just a hair slower. Ah, there we go. Now we got it. Now let's go over here to my oscillator and we don't want to be using the super saw, which is super buzzy. We want to go with a square wave and let's hear what the square wave sounds like. Now, see, now we're getting in the ballpark, aren't we? Uh, next thing we want to do is we want to darken this up a little bit. So we're going to roll, we're going to close off uh, our filter a little bit. Let's go over here to the filter and And we're going to add in some resonance. Now, if you've listened to the original track, and I'm, I'm assuming that you have, you know that uh, there's modulation of these uh, uh, parameters over time. It just doesn't sit at one fixed sound, and that's part of the pleasure of listening to it, is hearing things kind of modulate a little bit. So what I want to do is, um, we're, we're getting there, but the filter's fixed, and we need to have a little modulation of the filter as well. So I'm going to borrow LFO2, and on LFO2, we're going to use this to modulate the filter. So let's turn LFO2 on, and right now it's assigned, we can hear it's modulating the pitch. Well, we don't want, we don't want any of that, and we want to tie this into that master clock. So let's set this to 16th notes. So I'm going to hit 100, and then so let me step through and get to 16th notes. There we go. And now let's give ourselves a little filter modulation. I don't know, that sounds just a, a little fast to me. So we're a lot closer now. Now we've got that, that little slappy sound that we have to the filter. We're modulating that. I'd like to add, use LFO1 to modulate the filter, but not based on the uh, the sequence, the, the, this actual beat, but have a, a slow change the filter over time. So I'm going to turn LFO1 on. Let's see. Uh, there we go. And for the rate, I'm going to slow it all about as slow. Let's go with one for the rate. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it modulate the filter depth is about there. Okay, you know what? This is this is getting pretty close to what we're looking for. So we've got the basic pitches in the filter. We've got a little snappy modulation with every step using LFO2. Now I just think we need to add a little ambience to this. Let me go look under here under equalizer. We don't need to be rolling off any of that bottom end. Uh, this is giving us a little overall boost. Let's clear that out. And then let's add in some reverb. So I'm going to go to effects one and change this to reverb. And then keeping with the flavor we're going for, let's go for spring reverb. Let's see under variation. Yeah, spring. So pretty much that's that's pretty darn close to what we're looking for. You know, we can add in uh, more stuff to this. The next thing I would do is I would maybe um, work with uh, either instrument two or instrument three and use that to recreate that hi-hat pattern. We can do that uh, using an oscillator and using white noise. And there's, there's another really great video on here where a fellow suggests that. And this is what kind of gave me the idea to sort of figure out how to do it myself. And then we can use another instrument um, to take, uh, and this is what I, I saw off this other video, to take, uh, create a heavy, dis heavily distorted sound from the guitar, and you can use that to add in some noises. But basically, here we have it. This is the uh, famous um, sequence from On The Run that we have duplicated using the uh, sequencer inside of the uh, Boss uh, SY-1000.